So thalassemia is a genetic disorder which is passed on from parents to a child. So thalassemia it's divided into three types mainly. So thalassemia minor, thalassemia intermedia and thalassemia major. So thalassemia major is something where you cannot make your own blood and you need lifelong blood transfusions. So every month you need a blood transfusion. That is thalassemia major. Thalassemia minor is you are absolutely healthy. You have no problems, but you are carrying a thalassemia defect inside you, which you can pass on to your children. So thalassemia minor are carriers. They don't have any problem. Thalassemia intermedia are those patients who have they can make little bit of blood, but not enough to survive. So they still need transfusions, but not every month. They need maybe once in two months, three months, or once in one, maybe a couple of times in a year. So that is thalassemia intermedia. And uh, <clears throat> these are the main three types. And it's a lifelong condition, thalassemia major, where you suffer throughout your life and you are needing blood transfusions. Basically, if we have to understand it, there is something known as hemoglobin. We all do a blood test and we check our hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is made of two parts, heme plus globin. Heme is made from iron. So if we have less iron, we will make less hemoglobin. So that's a common cause of low hemoglobin is less iron in our diet. But the other reason is if you cannot make globin, which is a protein, then hemoglobin cannot be formed. So globin has two parts, alpha chains and beta chains. So if you cannot make alpha chains, alpha globulin, then you have alpha thalassemia. And if you cannot make beta globin, then you have beta thalassemia. So we have, pro these, these are the basically proteins. These globins are the proteins. And for beta globin, there are beta genes, which are present inside us. We have two copies. One copy comes from father, one from mother. So if out of two beta genes, if both are defective, then we are thalassemia major. We cannot make hemoglobin. But if one is defective, one is normal, then we are a carrier. And if both are normal, then we are a normal person. That's what thalassemia is all about. So thalassemia, as I told you, it's a blood disorder where your blood is uh, not being made properly and it breaks down easily. आपका ब्लड बनता जरूर है पर बनते ही टूटना शुरू हो जाता है और हर महीने आपको ब्लड चढ़ाना पड़ता है ताकि आपका हीमोग्लोबिन ठीक रह सके और आपके एनर्जी लेवल्स ठीक रहें अदरवाइज अगर आप ब्लड नहीं चढ़वाते हैं तो थैलेसीमिया मेजर के जो पेशेंट्स होते हैं वो पांच से सात साल की एज के बियॉन्ड सर्वाइव करना मुश्किल है बट अगर वो हर महीने ब्लड चढ़वाते हैं तो पंद्रह से बीस साल तक वो सर्वाइव कर सकते हैं Thalassemia is a preventable disease. So what we can do is that we can prevent birth of a child with thalassemia major. Whenever someone comes to hospital with pregnancy or someone is planning to have a child, those couples should be guided that they can be thalassemia carriers and they can pass on thalassemia to their child and their child can have thalassemia major. If both uh, husband and wife are thalassemia minor. Any pregnant lady coming to the hospital, she should get her thalassemia status. And if she is thalassemia minor, then her partner should also be checked. If he is also thalassemia minor, then there is 25% chance that the child they are going to have can have thalassemia major. Unke bachche ko thalassemia major hone ki bimari ho sakti hai, 25% chance hai us pregnancy mein. Or इसका एक तरीका है कि हम प्रेगनेंसी के थर्ड मंथ में तीसरे महीने में ही टेस्ट करके पता लगा सकते हैं कि थैलेसीमिया मेजर बच्चे को है कि नहीं है माँ के पेट में ही टेस्ट हो सकता है पैंडेमिक काफ़ी कम हो गया है दोबारा पेशेंट्स रेगुलर अपना चेकअप्स करा रहे हैं और लाइफ इज़ गेटिंग बैक टू नॉर्मल बट येस इट वॉज अज इम्पैक्ट ऑन थैलेसीमिया सर्विसेज